Okay, I've done it again, and I'm running out of space on my camera, but I thought I would finish up by just talking a bit more about this. I'm like obsessed with this, this silly thing. But anyway, I just wanted to go over from last time why I'm trying to do this. So the point was that I had this latch, RS latch flip-flop thing that I've gone through here. Here's a, here's a piece of paper that had all the diagrams on it. And the trick was, if this is, if these things switch from being buttons to something that's either high or low uh, voltage, then in their default state, you can say that they're low, and that was going to interfere. So if this was low, it would always pull this low, uh, regardless of what this state was here. So this one, if it was high, this would be go, would be pulling it down to low, and if it was low, it would still be pulling it down to low. Um, and so you'd always get a high output and in fact so the way that you can see this if we take this wire out of here and put that wire there so there are some little diodes there these are the tricks that I added on and so I'm bypassing them by just going into here so they're lining up with this wire and this wire is going into the uh, inputs on here so it's a very complicated looking circuit so um, but now they are still connected to my uh, 4050. Uh, so you, you are getting, so it's no, longer a, it's no longer a direct connection to a button. It's now going via this buffer. And so it's either going to be a low or a high output. And you can see now that if we do this, if I hold the button down, the light comes on. But if I let go, it doesn't stay on. And if I press that button, nothing happens. Um, and so it no longer functions properly. So now that when we put the diodes back in, uh, into the circuit, so the trick here is this input just has to have a diode uh, on it. So I think, I, I'm sure I drew this on another one, but obviously I've lost that one. Uh, and that's what makes it work. So I just wanted to say that one more time, just to make sure that it was all completely clear. Uh, you'll never do this because you just use a different chip. Um, it was, as, I, as I said, multiple times. But anyway, the other thing for a 4050, I had a look on uh, the internet for what people actually use these things for, and one of them is a level shifter, or a voltage level shifter. So a lot of circuits nowadays use not 5 volts, but perhaps 3.3 volts. And you can use a 4050 to convert between those two levels because even if the power input into these things or the, the supply voltage into this chip is 3.3 volts and that means the output will go from 0 to 3.3 volts the input can actually exceed that and it can be like 5 volts so the, and you can have a 5 volt input into the 4050 and that will come out as a 3.3 volt on the other end so it's not a direct transfer uh, most of these kind of chips, you cannot um, exceed the, the input. Cannot the input voltage cannot exceed the um, supply voltage to the chip, uh, or you'll break it. But these ones are designed so that you can do that. Uh, and so one of the purposes of this is to shift voltages. So that's another thing for 4050s. I don't know if I ever do that with this. Maybe I will just for the fun of it. But I just thought I'd say it now so that I've said that piece about 4050s. Um, in case we never ever return to them because they are lovely chips they're just forgotten and ignored and I think that one says this is this chip came from I don't know what the I, I, I believe there's like a little number there 745 and I'm going to guess that means that cannot be true this cannot be from 1974 so because usually when they have these chips they have these two numbers and one of them is the month that was manufactured and one of them is the year so it's obviously not it's obviously not manufactured in 1945. So that's that means this is a pretty old chip. So of the two that I have, and I don't know where the other one is. So I have to look after that one. So I'm going to take that one off uh, with this thing here, uh, like so. It usually works. And then you can take it off, and you don't ruin the the, um, the IC. So thanks for watching that, and bye.